We are having a great time here on ISS. Floating some 250 miles above the Earth, astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams thought their trip to the space station and back would last about 10 days. That was two months ago. Now, NASA mission managers say they could stay there for another six months, leaving their Starliner spaceship and returning home in an Elon Musk SpaceX Dragon capsule on a future Crew-9 mission. And then we could return four crew members uh, in the February 2025 time frame, and Butch and Sonny would remain on station and return home with them on Crew-9. And liftoff of Starliner at Atlas V. Boeing's troubled Starliner launched on a test flight in early June, but it's remained docked at the space station. NASA and Boeing engineers remain divided over whether it's safe to bring Wilmore and Williams back on Starliner. Their concern, helium leaks and engine thruster problems could pose serious risks. Starliner needs those thrusters to safely return home. Let's go forward into Starliner. Where Last month, Williams and Wilmore insisted their ship is safe. Are you confident in the performance of this ship for future missions as well? Well, that's a fair question. Uh, I can tell you that, you know, that mantra you've heard, failure is not an option. That's why we are staying here now. NASA is now weighing whether to bring Starliner home autonomously without a crew. It's now delayed the SpaceX Crew-9 liftoff to late September, returning next year, and may launch with only two astronauts rather than four. Wilmore and Williams would remain on station well past Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, then return with Crew-9 in February. In a statement, Boeing says we still believe in Starliner's capability and its flight rationale. If NASA decides to change the mission, we will take the actions necessary to configure Starliner for an uncrewed return. Yeah, mission managers will convene next week to decide whether to bring the astronauts home on Starliner or SpaceX. The final decision will likely be up to NASA Chief Bill Nelson, himself a former astronaut, who says he is still haunted by the Challenger disaster, guys. And one of the things we were thinking about is do they have enough supplies up there? They didn't intend to be up there more than, you know, 10 days or so, so that they have enough food. Yeah, that's right. NASA says that's one reason why they're considering launching with only two astronauts on Crew-9. Supplies are tightly planned. Butch and Sonny have already been there for two months. Nobody planned for that. They launched without their own suitcases because NASA had to lose weight at the last minute. So the astronauts have been borrowing clothes from other astronauts on station. And then there's the matter of food. So all of this is part of the equation. Well, they've had a remarkably yeah. positive attitude, mm -hmm. but... Probably They're comes very to a point positive where people. it's yeah. enough, it's enough. Uh, well, keep following it for us, Tom. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. You bet. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.